Ugh. It has been a very long week. And, uh, well, I have some stuff to show you. So, uh, yes, this is our new office. Uh, as you can see, two takeaways. It's a lot more space, which is fantastic. That was why we built this home in the first place. Well, okay, I'm, that wasn't the only reason why we built the home, but this was like my part of the home build here. I, I gave my wife pretty much a la carte, as long as she saved the budget for most of the house, but uh, this section, this is the man cave. This is where the magic happens. And uh, so yeah, the space is great. Yeah, it's gonna give us a lot more breathing room, literally. And uh, the other takeaway, is that it's extremely dirty. And you probably already noticed the green screen, and that's gonna come into play a lot later, but uh, for now, I'm glad that we actually have one again. At the very least, for thumbnails, it would be nice to have something that neutral and very odd colored to Ultra Key out in Premiere. Uh, you can see we've gone with different lighting this time around. It's uh, probably not the norm and probably not the greatest, but it is super, super simple to uh, set up. It doesn't require any extra wiring or weird cable channels and things running along the uh, ceiling like we had in our old house. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, but the other stuff here, all this other stuff that just, it's just boxes and just like dirty furniture and stuff that needs to be set up and cameras that don't focus. I got my racing sim uh, in the office now. There's actually room to put the racing sim where it should have gone in the first place, which of course made the wife very happy. Now, as of time of filming, we of course officially have our certificate of occupancy, but that doesn't mean there aren't small things here and there to address. Now you're not gonna be able to see that very well on camera, but there are small creases here in the uh, drywall. They're gonna be touching up stuff like this. So if you do happen to see either painter's tape or just obvious flaws, they are still uh, going to be uh, working on this house, um, you know, from time to time. So it's not set in stone the way it is now. Although it, it's about 90, 95% of the way there, our builder has done a heck of a job. So uh, yeah, without further ado, you guys are just gonna come along for the ride here and watch me set up an office. And at the same time, we're going to be upgrading the server closet just a tad, which I'll show you more about in a second. Are you ready? Stay with me. If you're sick of seeing that same Activate Windows watermark over and over, head on over to VIP SCD Key, where they have Windows 10 and 11 Pro OEM keys at a fraction of the price of retail. Just use the secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye-bye to the watermark. And be sure to use your offer code SKGS for that so sweet discount. All right, so let's get the big boy stuff out of the way first. Uh, pardon the kids and my wife in the background. You can probably hear them from here. Uh, this is the uh, big old server rack that we built in a uh, little mini series of videos earlier on the channel. And it is running very nicely as is. You can see this is where all of our Cat6 cable runs into various parts of the house, now, including outside where we have our security cameras. And that's really the thing that needs upgrading here. So this is the Ubiquiti modem that we have. This is their gateway. This is their 48 port PoE Pro switch. And uh, this is their power distributor. This is their NVR. Yeah, so a, a bunch of stuff from Ubiquity, but this uh, this thing here is, is lacking a bit. So I've only got one hard disk drive in here and it's only like a two or three terabyte drive. No, long story short, it doesn't really uh, hold up well in the video storage department. I like to have my cameras, especially security cameras around the house running 24 seven and archiving along the way. So I'm, I'm hoping for about 30 days of rolling footage here. And uh, the solution, the, the, the way we're gonna get to that point is with Western Digital. Now they are not today's video sponsor, but they did graciously send out several of these eight terabyte drives. We're gonna populate the NVR with four of these for 32 terabytes in total. And depending on the bit rate and the settings on our security cameras, which we'll show you later, we should be able to get 30 days of rolling footage out of these in RAID 1 for redundancy, just in case one of these drives kicks the can. I've also got an SN580 here. Uh, this is something we're probably not gonna do in this video, but uh, we're, <laughs> we were having issues earlier running a RAID 1 config for our boot drive. Uh, in one of our other servers. So we might be able to tackle that at a later date. For now though, let's go ahead and get all four of these bad boys in that server. My, oh my, I tell ya, it's just no replacement for solid eight terabyte drives like these. These are purple drives, which are Western Digital surveillance oriented drives. So they're great for constant writing and even some reading, of course, if you wanna watch anything in playback, these are perfect for that. I'm also kind of surprised by how light these are. Usually eight terabyte drives are, you know, pretty solid bricks. This is actually sort of portable. So first things first, I'm sorry, I'm a little far away from the microphone here. I'm gonna take out this old drive. This is just the uh, two terabyte. And it's nice that these are hot swap base. So you just slide the new WD purple eight terabyte drive in here. Uh, 
There we go. Push the drive all the way in, and then when we close the door, we'll hear a small clip. There we go. It's that simple. We're gonna do it for the other three drives as well. These, of course, are empty because I was only using one. But uh, having four gives us a little more versatility when it comes to backups as well, which is important for home security. I'm, I'm slowly learning, folks. I'm getting there. I'm still a noob, but we're improving with time. And would you look at that? I slid one of these in backwards so it wasn't connecting to anything. That's how much of a noob I still am. We'll say goodbye to this last eight terabyte drive here, all the way in and clip shut. I'm gonna power this bad boy back on. Boy, doing this one-handed is uh, not smart. All right, and we'll give it a few minutes to fully power up. And while we're waiting, something else to note, I, I actually did mention this in, I think the first or second server video we uploaded, but some of you I don't think saw that. That one. I do have active ventilation in this closet. I know it's a kind of a small space for all this stuff to be in uh, and uh, I still have to modify the doors because there's no way for fresh air to get in yet. So what I'm going to do is probably cut, well it's not focusing, but I'll probably cut out a couple sections down below on each door for uh, just small passive vents so that there's no like you know buildup of negative pressure inside here. That hot air is going to rise and escape out the vent and then fresh air will come in through the door down below into the servers. It does look like all four of these bad boys are initializing, which is a good sign. Looks like my network closet camera is freaking out a bit, but that's because it doesn't have anywhere right now to store any of the stuff that it's seeing. That should change momentarily. All right, would you look at that? You can see all four of our hard disk drives right here listed. I know it's gonna be difficult to see on camera, recording a phone screen. Anyway, uh, there are four there, they're all detected, and you can see we actually have already a default storage protection in place. So this is basic protection, which I think is, I think they're calling this, I think this is what RAID 5 is. It's what it looks like. And it looks like RAID 10 is what they consider higher protection. And I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm going to apply those changes and we can click reformat. A few moments later. All right, so now we've 16 terabytes usable, 16 there, more or less for protection. We are good to go. And just like that, we are ready to go. I've configured some of my settings here so that uh, I get smart alerts when certain things cross the uh, field of view. So either a car or a person, or in the case of my doorbell, if for example, a package shows up, it'll tell me that I have a package. It actually has two built-in cameras on this doorbell, which is pretty cool. So this is all hardwired, and the great thing about the server closet is that I have a built-in UPS. So if power goes out, I'll actually still be able to record and store footage. I'll actually still have internet technically as well, since my modem is also hooked up to that UPS, so long as the internet itself from the ISP isn't touched. I know my solution is probably super pitiful and probably has some flaws in it that some of you want to call out in the comments, and that's totally fine, it's your right to do so. Uh, but for me and what I do, and the fact that I was able to do this myself for the most part, uh, I am very pleased with it. And again, being able to combine that stuff with uh, my actual like dedicated servers, my compute server and my NAS, my, my storage server. It's just been a really fun experience. So thanks for your patience there. Next up, we've got to figure out the layout of this whole room because uh, there's just, there's so much that is going on right now. Um, I think, this is actually flipped upside down because it was easier to slide on carpet. Uh, this is the little entertainment setup. So this is where the TV is going to go and presumably a console or two and maybe even a PC. I'm not sure. I, don't, I have to do a PC. I can't just do consoles and you guys are going to eat me up for that one. Uh, we're going to put these desks, maybe one, maybe one there. I, I don't know, maybe one there and then one like on that side and then maybe have the entertainment set up between them to kind of break it up a bit. I, I I don't really know. And then this whole section here, if you couldn't already tell, that is going to be our actual like filming corner, aside from the green screen, which we might use occasionally. The focus is still going crazy. But uh, that's all gonna be set up for when we actually film videos. I know it looks disastrous now. I'm not entirely sure what look I'm going for, as long as it works for now figure it out later. I expected only a few hours to pass between these clips, but uh, it has been three days since what you just saw. And I'm happy to report that uh, at least the preliminary layout of this office has been completed. We still have to vacuum the carpets and do a few other things. We chose carpet for this room for the sound. It just helps damp deaden things, dampen, damp, whatever. It helps kind of just muffle the echo and whatnot. But uh, here is kind of what we've got going. So. Racing Sim has its own little dedicated corner here, just some sound deadening foam up there. Uh, we've got just a chill out couch area. Sometimes I take naps, sometimes Raymond takes naps. You taking naps over there, hey, Raymond? There. And uh, extra stuff we've got to do something about later. A uh, little guitar setup here to play some music. This is an entertainment setup. So this has 
the PC down there that we've built a few videos ago, some older consoles, a newer console, my sound receiver, some surround sound stuff. This is probably not going to stay this way. I think I want a bigger TV than what I have, uh, but this is a higher refresh rate one, so it's better for, for gaming. Subwoofer, printer, just, uh, you got to have a printer. Uh, he's doing something right now with sound, it looks like. And we have one more setup here to the left that does not have a PC uh, here yet. And we're going to probably end up building one in the next, I don't know, few videos or so. You can see I've got the his and hers chair. So I assume Lisa will be up here sometimes if she wants to game with me. We could do like a little LAN session or something. All right, we have a, what I assume is going to be a static tripod set up here for the main shot. So again, this is the, the main scene here where we will probably film most of our fixer flop videos etc and so this camera is pretty much lined up with that as long as nobody touches it the framing should be the same for every single video uh, getting a lot of this stuff mounted and straight was a major pain i don't have a laser level and i really really wish i did because uh, it would just made life so much easier i've got some of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and things mounted we've got the silver play button finally in frame again and uh, we've got a little video ideas board so if you have Ideas, Raymond writes his in red, I write mine in blue, and th this board will change all the time. But I think it's a cool way to kind of just store some of our ideas so we don't forget them when the times get uh, a bit busy. Some other things I do want to hang up eventually, but uh, yeah, this is this is really it. It's, it's come along nicely. The green screen that the camera does not want to focus on at all is chilling there. We got a little, like, it looks like a skylight, but it's not. Um, sitting there in the middle for when we don't want to have the studio lights on. Overall, I am super happy with this, and it's probably going to end up changing in the next month or two, but uh, for now it's great, and we are pretty much ready to start filming normal content again. Now, one other thing I do want to show you, I don't think you've seen this yet. So, server closet there on the right, I've got this really cool, uh, this is a sign from an old MR room in a hospital, even though there aren't any strong magnetic fields in there, I think it's fitting where it's going. And then uh, we've got this closet here to our left, and this is just the storage closet. Now, there's still a few things I've got to throw in here. I thought this would be enough space, but it's almost fully populated already. And um, I, I probably should have made it bigger. Now, not that I expect Raymond to be stealing anything, because I'm always watching him. Always watching. Uh, but if anyone did try to come in here and take things without my knowing, uh, we're gonna have a dedicated uh, camera somewhere, probably mounted up there. And uh, that's, of course, going to feed directly into the server closet as well. Much like we have the server closet camera just chilling there. You can say hi to it. It's probably notifying my phone right now that someone has popped up. Since this door remains closed 95% of the time, uh, it probably won't uh, bother me too much that it's sending notifications. But even for this room, I'd want to have something here just to be on the safe side. I'm probably going to put it up top there. So, uh, yeah, still some things we have to do. But overall, yeah, here's... Uh, Here's the inventory closet. Half of these boxes are empty. They like, don't have anything in them. Um, although every single box I've touched so far has stuff in it. Oh, this one's empty. Um, so yeah, th a lot of this goes to fixer flop and PCDC and stuff, but uh, it is, uh, it's bigger than what we had. So I can't really complain. Also quick side note, check out how bright these lights are. <laughs> so I'm standing right at the entrance of the office from the stairwell and uh, it just gets so much brighter with these things on. I'll have these linked in the description if you're interested. I know like a lot of European homes use this style lighting just for like your everyday, you know, bedroom or whatever. But uh, these lights are actually way brighter than I thought they would be. And I think what I wanna do for some sort of like multicolor effect, especially for our primary like recording area is change some of these bulbs to like blue and purple and stuff. Something that'll look nice on camera just to break up the, uh, just the, you know, monotonous kind of like white that you see everywhere here. But um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, you wanna say hi to the world, Raymond? Hello world. All right, yeah. <laughs> we are, uh, we're, we're preparing some things. So much more space, so much room for activities. And yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say in this one. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the weird vloggy style video. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to give you an update on what's going on, why we haven't uploaded in the last week or two as consistently as we have historically. But that's all hopefully going to change very soon. Yeah. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for building with us. Ow! Oh, I just smacked the TV. This is going somewhere else, by the way. I, I, we just, yeah.
it, it's chilling there for now until we find a worthy space for it. Not really. <laughs>